A total of 15 trainers are expected to head to Taiwan over a three-year span, where they will be trained in the areas of chronic disease prevention and control. The inauguration ceremony for the commencement of the course was held on Thursday, August 11th at the Ministry of Health. Project manager John Lin says personnel from different areas of health will be chosen to attend the training. And today is very important. In the whole project, duration of the project, we will have 15 people, uh, medical staff from Sanusha to go to Taiwan for this training. And the follow control part will include 12 personnel from Sanusha which include doctor, nurse, nutritionist, and uh, uh, also have a uh, community levels. A seven-member delegation from the Cathay General Hospital met with the first five trainers who are expected to leave this September. The group consists of medical officer Dr. Malan Ragunanan, nurses Alexandra Jamot and Jasmine Daniel, nutritionist Miss Olivia Felix, and the lead on the chronic disease self-management program, Nurse Yolanda Alcindor. This training, we expect not only beneficial for, for their individual one, we expect when they return to St. Lucia, they can have different activities such as local workshop, help us to design standardized national material for health education. Dr. Marlon Ragunanan, a former scholar of the Ishaw University of Taiwan, heaped praises on the quality of education offered by the friendly nation. Dr. Ragunanan is lobbying the new approach, which includes establishing team and community-based methods of fighting the chronic illnesses. I believe that is the way to go, and with the assistance of our friends from Taiwan, I hope that we can get the required knowledge to establish such a system of care in our local setting. Adopting some of the strategies that you have used and you are using in Taiwan I'm sure it can be very helpful and surely impact our current situation of metabolic diseases. The seed trainers set to leave for Taiwan in September will meet a new curriculum tailored to St. Lucia and its needs. Dr. Lin Ching Ling was part of a seven-member delegation from the Cathay General Hospital on island assessing the island's health needs. After this visit, our team in Cathay General Hospital will organize a customized curriculum for the trainers to come to strengthen their capacity. I believe they will benefit from the tailored training program in Taiwan and achieve successful implementation after they return to your beautiful country. Taiwanese Ambassador His Excellency Peter Chieyan Chen says St. Lucia and Taiwan continue to strengthen ties, this time in the area of healthcare. Ambassador Chen highlighted the activity as yet another milestone for the cooperation between the two countries. As the implementing agency, Kase General Hospital also plays a critical role in the structure of partnership. I would like to commend Kase General Hospital in organizing the on-site visit led by Dr. Lin which highlights Taiwan's long-standing commitment to Sinusha. Minister for Health Honorable Moses Jabatis expressed extreme gratitude. I know that you have made tremendous sacrifices, all of our healthcare workers, and daily you make sacrifices for the people of St. Lucia. The government is proud of your dedication, and the government is proud of your commitment. We know that you do not have everything that you need, and we are trying our very best to give you what you need to do your work. We thank you for your work. We thank the government and people of Taiwan for the partnership. We thank you for all of what you do for us and all of what you, 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 you help us with. On completion of the training, work is expected to begin in regions 5, 6, 7 and 8. The C trainers are expected to conduct a series of trainings and workshops with other health practitioners as the island continues its fight against NCDs. For the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, I'm Sant Justin.